Welcome to Second String. Happy Halloween. It's coming up. Get your costumes. The Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. I'm sure when LSU fans saw that on the schedule back in March, they marked it off as a win. No problem, right? Now in October, the game doesn't seem so much like a walk in the park. Western Kentucky comes in at 6-1. and one. They have a six-year quarterback who's getting some Heisman love because of the 2,700 yards and 24 touchdowns he's passed for this season. Brandon Dowdy is his name, by the way. He led the FBS last year with 4,830 yards and 49 touchdowns. By the way, the last starting quarterback LSU has played, Auburn's Jeremy Johnson, who was subsequently benched the following week. Plus, the Hilltoppers have already beaten an SEC team on the road this season. Uh, wait a minute, no. That was Vanderbilt. Scratch that. But here's my point. In college football, no team can be overlooked. It's why the Appalachian states and Boise states are still talked about to this day. So just don't get caught looking ahead, LSU, to that beautiful bye week where you can finally get some rest or the Crips and Tide in two weeks. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. You could pull those highlights down later, but you can't stop play on play. You can't stop it. What do we have for number three? It's Markevious Mingo, the first time on play on play, and he picked a good time to do it. An interception on Peyton Manning in overtime. Look at the concentration from the man. Markevious Mingo. Number two. Oh, it's Jeremy Hill time. How about some number 32 action? Look how he's gonna get over the end zone, the jump, and the score. He tight ropes on the sidelines. Let's watch it again. Oh! He crosses the goal line. Give him six. And of course, when you talk about Jeremy Hill, you talk about busted moves in the end zone. Number one, it's Jarvis Landry on the little reverse around. And look, he's going to go through three Tennessee Titans. You can't stop this man. You can't bring him down. Jarvis Landry, the juice man. Jarvis Landry, play on play of the week. Well, you know, it's homecoming week here on LSU's campus. And where there are many events going on that are wrapping up probably right now, except for the football game tomorrow, of course. Why homecoming is two months into the semester, I'll never understand, but we caught up with some LSU students who were excited about homecoming week, but probably attended zero of the events. Taylor Curet here outside the Student Union Square. I'm getting ready for homecoming just like everybody else. It's homecoming week, Western Kentucky coming to town, and let's take a look at the schedule of events here. LSU homecoming 2015. We got the splatter beat. That's, of course, when people deliberately put paint all over their bodies. Uh, we got the, I don't know, some sort of an Olympic trials. Uh, and the Canapalooza. That's, of course, good to do as well. Bring in some chicken noodle soup. So this will be your first homecoming. It will. Are you excited? I am. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Looking at the posters now. They, that's a big thing. They put up these banners. They paint them. What in the world is this one? Some strange lady. The uh, homecoming. Do you know about any of the events in particular? No, not really. <laughs> Uh, they have the dance and the football game before the dance. Do they have a dance? I didn't know so. that. They should if they don't. Yeah. They Are you going? Are you going to go? I don't know when it is. Okay. This will never stop! It's by far my favorite so far. Mike the Tiger and uh, Les Miles, they look insane. They're just, just like screaming right at you. Scary, to be honest. They both look like they could be on something. Shut up! What about the concert? Have you heard of the concert? No. 
Tanache is coming to perform. You ever heard of her? No, I've never heard of her. I didn't know there was a concert here. Throughout the week, this place will be packed with all sorts of tents and people trying to hand you flyers and things you don't want, things you throw away in the trash immediately after getting them. But that's homecoming for you, I guess. Back to life. And over here, it's like a Sports Illustrated cover. Brandon's not wearing a helmet, however. He's going to have to sit out a play. You know what splatter beat is? I guess you're going to inform me. It's something where they throw paint on you. Would you be interested in that? Sure. Yeah, paint everywhere. I don't want to get all dirty with paint and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, it seems no one knows exactly what's going to happen during homecoming week, but Canapalooza, Splatterbeat, Tanache performing, and of course, the football game. Reporting from the parade grounds, I'm Taylor Curette for Second String. Welcome back to Second String. We got angles today, Brian. We're different angles. Try it. We use a fancy camera. We're crazy. So, Bry, can I call you Bry? No, I hate. That. Okay. Brian, LSU playing the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Uh, what, do you, what exactly is a Hilltopper? Does anybody know? Oh, I don't actually know if anyone does know, but I did bring along a celebrity guest to help us this wow. week. Uh, I bring him on now. Here's our friend. How can we afford to Reggie pay Reggie Chapman. Oh, it's yeah, Reggie. Right. Hey, from the studio. hey right. buddy. Taylor. Reggie Chapman. Uh, honor to finally be on the show, Brian. Thank no. you for having me. Honor to have you on the show. My you, friend. you know, I had to go out today and figure out um, what a hilltopper is because honestly, I have no idea. So Nobody I thought I, you know, I thought I'd ask the students, see what they think. Let's do it. Roll it. The Tigers, you know, will be taking on the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Um, do you know what a hilltopper is? I guess somebody who makes a house on top of a hill. I don't know. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you at all what a hilltopper is. I didn't even guess. know Eastern Kentucky was a hilltopper. Okay. I guess they have a lot of hills in Kentucky, so I assume it's the first person to get to the top, right? He's a hilltopper. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, can't, as you can tell, uh, nobody knows Taylor. Yeah, nobody um, knows. But you know, Brian, Brian, do you, you know? know? Uh, actually, I do. I went and looked it up before the show since oh, Taylor great. gave me the job. So Power of Google. Interesting, Taylor would ask if I knew. But yeah, actually, it's uh, the whole school is set up on top of a hilly area in Kentucky. Okay. So they call top of the hill. The hill toppers is the university. Interesting. Itself. But, but but why but why does the mascot look like the color of my shirt, Brian? He's What's like it's red? like it's it's like Grimace's cousin. Who's Grimace? From from uh, McDonald's, the big purple. Oh, the big purple thing. It's like a purple oh. chicken nugget. Yeah. So why aren't they purple? They're they're red. Hills are not usually red. I thought I like they were it came in 1980, man. Weird things happened in 1980. 1980 was a crazy time. But anyway, uh, speaking of mascot names and weird ones at that. Mm -hmm. That's right. I've got a, I got a segment coming for you here, Taylor. Oh, new oh. one. I'm going to make a, and we're going to make a little tournament style mascot tournament. Tournament. Right. Okay. And Love you're going to pick which one of the two you think moves on, and we're going to pick the wackiest name. Wackiest name. So we're going to go ahead pick and get a winner today. So we're going to start with Exclusively the Hilltoppers. Exclusively on second string. Hilltoppers versus the Akron Zips. The Akron Zips. Mm. What is the origin of that? Does it matter? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, is I, this I, have to do with zippers? Or? This I'm, could be part I'm, of the competition. I'm picking, I'm picking the Zips. You like the Zips? The Zips, I think, I think their mascot is actually <laughs> a, uh, I want to say a kangaroo. I played with him in uh, NCAA football one time. Okay, we'll go it's with the It's a kangaroo, so let's go with the Zips. Go with the, Zips. the Zips advance over the Hilltoppers. That's wonderful. We'll go with the... Sorry, Hilltoppers. Next one, it's Heidelberg University Student Princes versus the Arkansas Tech University Wonder Boys. Oh, the Wonder Boys win. In yeah, definitely. Yeah, the I like Wonder, Wonder Boys. Boys. Are you kidding me? That's what, not even close. What, what is their uniforms? They wear capes, I believe. Mm. That they should. That, you know, like Wonder Twins. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that they are my favorite right now. Really? Right. We've got the Anchormen of Rhode Island oh, College seems versus appropriate. the UC Santa Cruz Banana Slugs. Oh, oh man. The Banana Slugs. I uh, went to Alpharetta. I like, um, I like Anchorman. But, but we are Anchorman. Got, oh, we are Anchorman. Right, but you right. know, bananas are good. They're playing Some, the favorite card here. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with banana slugs. Uh, but is this your show? Banana slugs? No, you go. There. It's yours. All right, it's your pick. Banana slugs. I've been there. The uh, shout out to Santa Cruz. All right, Texas A&M International University, Dust Devils, mm. 
and the evergreen state stole it from the Geo Ducks. Now the Geo Ducks kind of sounds like a Pokemon character. To Geo me. Ducks. It's like a like a mix of a Digimon character and like a Yu-Gi-Oh character and a Pokemon at the same time. Um, what do you think? I like the Geo Ducks. Yeah, I'm gonna say that too. Okay. Great. Let's keep it on track. <laughs> the Southwestern College Mound Builders Ooh. and the Delta State University Fighting Okra. Fighting Okra. That's Definitely. a classic. That's you got to you got to give the okra some credit, man. Okra's uh, delicious. He's been killing the game for First, years. Oh, we're talking about totally different things. Too. Oh, we're gonna go banana slugs, okay. geo ducks, All right, we're in and the second zips round now. Ooh. against each other. I still like the zips, man. Oh really? You convinced me about the zips. Yeah. Uh, it's let's a go with the zips. Let's go with the zips. Let's do it. Akron zips. The zips continue on. All right, this one's just a battle of two because we only had five because I apparently can't count. We're gonna go with the fighting okra. And the Wonder Boys. Wonder, Wonder Boys. Boys, easy, put easy. Em, put them through. All, All right. right. Of course. You guys hear it? Our championship matchup is Arkansas Tech University. It's probably the first time that's ever been said. And the <laughs> Akron Zips. Who's taking it home? Arkansas Tech versus Akron. The Zips versus the, versus Wonder, Boys. the, the Wonder, Wonder Boys. Boys. Well, I, I got to tell you, I think the Wonder Boys capes will take over the zippers. Because you don't need a but zipper what if the cape has a on zipper? a cape. What if the zipper gets caught? What if the cape gets caught in the zipper? If the cape gets caught in the zipper, the zippers could win. That's their only chance. But mind you, the the, the mascot's a kangaroo. I don't know why. I'm not. I think the kangaroo's name is Zip. Zippy. Oh, so you're talking about a kangaroo versus a cape? Basically. Well, what if the kangaroo is wearing a cape? Then they both win. Does that mean they both win? No. Congratulations, you both win. Hey! Yeah. Wow. That's another one that could take a. That would, uh, this was before I got there, but the one I'll remember is, you know, watching a game in Georgetown and Dale telling Jose Vargas in the huddle, Jose, do not shoot the ball. And of course, Jose shot the ball, you know, in the final segment. And there were always those moments when, you know, you sometimes wish Dale wasn't mic'd because, you know, it seemed like the opposite would happen, you know, of what he. Wanted. Listen to me. You ain't doing nothing out there, Jose. I played you 19 minutes and all you did is let your teammates down. You didn't do shit. Dale had his moments where probably, you know, he may have talked too much. He may have uh, said too much, but everything he said was from the heart. I'm gonna can, I, play can I be here? Should I be here? Should I be here? Through the hole. It's okay. I just I just need a quick in. Oh no! Is it I'm true you interviewed? Boy, I go to church. What do you put on your pants there? Is it true you interviewed Tom Brady at the urinal? <laughs> Tom Brady, Tom Cruise at the urinal. No, Tom Brady at the urinal. <laughs> gonna keep it civilized. Gonna stay cool. Stay cool. Stay cool. I thought it was stay frosty. Well, that comes later. I don't know if we could have beaten the Wonder Breads anyway, man. Or the, the Zips. Wonder Breads or the Wonder Boys. Wonder Boys. We are the Wonder Boys. We are, we are the Wonder Boys. Wonder Boys. You heard it here first, people. Wonder Boys. Correct!